Come along with me as we journey into the world of ethical hacking. We have this machine. It's vulnerable. It's Ubuntu. We have the IP, if config, right here. So, how do we attack it? Well, first off, we need to do some network enumeration on the victim machine. So, we just ran nmap-sv and then the victim IP. And sv prints out the service and the version. Stands for service version, that's how I like to think of it. I don't know if that actually stands for it, but SV, service version, I don't know. I don't know, that's just how I remember it. So, in map scan, yay. So let's copy this, paste it into some notes. So let's zoom in here. We'll go in map results. So we have FTP, open, pro FTP, open SSH, and HTTP, Apache 2.4.18, Ubuntu. So, since HTTP is open, let's open Firefox. And this is what it says when we go to the web page. It works. This is the default web page for this server. The web server software is running, but no content has been added yet. So, we know it's a web server running HTTP, which we all know is not secure. As you can see, connection not secure. So, to do some subdomain enumeration, we do derb and then the URL of the victim web server. And this will just display all of the valid subdomains. Because you could do the dash and the URL and do it manually, but this is just a lot faster. So we have WP content, uploads, index.php, WP content themes, index.php, WP content plugins, and WP admin, user admin.php, which seems like an interesting URL. And we open it and it takes us to the WordPress admin login. But here in the URL, it has secret. So let's also go to secret and see what's up. My secret blog. So it says just another WordPress site. Hello world, welcome to WordPress. This is your first post, edit or delete it, then start writing. Recent post, hello world, which is what we just read. And then we have login, entries, comments, and WordPress. So download my secret blog index.php let's copy this down here index.php a wordpress commenter comment number one a hi this is a comment to get started with moderating editing and deleting comments please visit the comment screen in the dashboard so some stuff there but since this is an easy box or a beginner's box i'm gonna do the tried and true admin and password no i'll try admin and admin Another tried and true. And we're in. Pretty simple. If it wasn't admin slash admin, you could also do WP scan, but that's pretty simple. So we're just going to go with it because we're in. So we're in. It says WordPress 6.8.1 is available. Please update now. So this is telling us that the WordPress is not updated and there's probably some security vulnerabilities in the WordPress site. Updates. New version of WordPress is available. And it says we are running PHP 7.0.33 in the plugins. Hello, Dolly. So let's copy that and put it in our notes. And then the plugin, let's just copy that. So we know this site is pretty much extremely vulnerable to many things. So we see a PHP vulnerability because it's not updated. So we're in the editor. We're going to click on theme footer down here. And we have all of this. You can see the template for displaying the footer. And as you can see, it has PHP up there. So we are in the right place. And then we're going to paste the malicious PHP code. So it says, this script will make an outbound TCP connection to a hard-coded IP and port. The recipient will be given a shell running as a current user Apache normally. So we have the IP and the port. So just change this to your attacker IP. So we're going to copy that, paste it in there. Then the port. Let's go with 44 because that's what I normally do and that's what I remember. So now we're going to update the file edited successfully. Yay. Now open up our handy dandy terminal and we're going to do a little netcat action and set up a listener. It's nc-lvnp4444, which is the port uh, we put into the malicious PHP code. So 
go to dashboard, click on different stuff, just wait for it to update. And as you can see here, we have a shell. So if you type, who am I? www data. So that is the user. So now I have a shell. And just for a little convenience, we run that Python command to upgrade to a little bit of a nicer shell. So it looks kind of like how everything normally does in a terminal. So it doesn't have that weird plain thing anymore. It has the user and then the name of the server. So, so if you do LS, you can see bin dev lib64 root. And I try to do CD root permission denied. I do CD Etsy permission not denied LS. So all of this aligns with all of this Etsy. This is the GUI version and this is the command line version. So we have accessed the victim computer from our computer. So if this was a victim computer, if they were somewhere else, and this was not in a contained lab where everything is ethical and perfectly legal and fine. Disclaimer, YouTube, everything is legal and fine and everything is uh, in a lab. But let's say this computer was somewhere else. We are in their computer and we are controlling it. And we can exfiltrate data, lock them out, change their root password, things like that. But I'll get to that in a second. So we cat into shadow. And what is shadow? Well... It is a file with all of uh, the passwords, usually encrypted and hashed passwords, uh, just all passwords in general. So these would all be hashed. But as you can see, this one is not. So let's copy that, put it in our notes here. And we have the hash. So let's go back here. Let's go back a directory. Oh, sorry. Let's go back into Etsy. And then what do we have? Where is it? Password. So cat password. So we have nobody, also non-existent. We have root. So here we have the password file, which is public user account info. As you can see, no login, things like that. So this is all just basically public account info. And we have shadow, which is the password hashes. So we have that user's password hash here which we could use John, John the Ripper, but we'll just use Crack Station. I'm sure that'll suffice. See so guys, I saw that CAPTCHA, I'm not a robot. Anyway, Crack, oh, no, oh, hold on, I'm stupid. There we go, just the password hash. Bicycle is solving it again so that I'm not a robot. No, I guess we're gonna use John the Ripper. So to install John the Ripper, it is just this command. So let's just copy this, put it in a text file, save as, hash, save, boom. So let's change into downloads. Hello. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I thought it was download. Downloads. Linux should know what I mean. So there's our hash. So we do ls, you see the hash file. Now we're going to run John the Ripper to crack the hash. So we do John hash and it has been cracked. As you can see, the password is the same as the username. Oh, sorry. So same as the username. So this is the dude's account. So we copy that, go into our victim machine and we are logged in in the guest account. So the switch password And we are in this user's account. Yay. So if we wanted to lock this user out, for example, we could actually update his password hash to a new hash to one that we know, and we could just lock him out of his machine. So that is just a little way you can ethically hack some WordPress sites legally in a lab, not actual WordPress sites. Yeah, I hope you guys got something out of that and learned something new. I don't know. It's Friday. I'm tired. But make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I will see you in the next video.